Right, so uh, year 12, I'm going to show you how to make a sextant. Okay, I've got all this equipment in front of me. Piece of wood, it's about uh, 50 centimetres, but you can use a ruler, 30 centimetre ruler. I've got a piece of card, white card, I've got a protractor, piece of string, I've got a nut, I've got some strong glue. Um, you don't have to use Gorilla Epoxy. And this is very strong glue. You can use something like Yoohoo, okay, or you can use um, a glue gun if you've got one of those. With with this epoxy, you have to mix, in, squeeze the two components out, mix them together, okay. So that's what I've done already. So basically, take your ruler or piece of wood. Um, in fact, the first thing we should do is get a piece of string, and now. I've made a little hole, I hope you can see that in the protractor, just there look, I've made a hole. Um, you can use a compass to poke a hole maybe. If you can't do that without breaking it then your string, you could just stick it with sellotape. Right? Your string needs to go across the 90 degree line like that. You could just sellotape it on up there. I'm going to poke it through this hole. Okay, should go through, hopefully. It's a bit fiddly. Let's try and persuade that to go through there. Right, there we go, look. So, and I'm going to tie a little knot. Okay. I will put some glue on it as well to hold it. So I'm going to do a double knot there. I'm going to trim it with a pair of scissors. Okay, so that's my piece of string. It needs to, the string needs to come around the front. Okay, on the other end, you need something heavy, like um, you might have some something in the garage, like uh, this is a nut. You can use a washer, and you need to um, a double knot. Okay, this is this is going to become what we call a plumb line. Okay, so any heavy weight tied to the end will do. Right, so that's my that's the idea of it. I hope you can see that folks, it just hangs there, look. Now we need to stick this okay onto a piece of wood. Now I've got this card here because I want to be able to see um, the angles easily at night time. Okay, so I'm gonna stick my card on. I'm going to get some glue, I'm going to put the glue along the back of the card, like that. This is horrible sticky stuff by the way. Um, and that just sticks on the top there. This will be dry in a few minutes. I feel like I'm on Blue Peter. Okay, this is horrible stuff, so do not do this on your parents' dining table. Okay, because they'll be very or or in or in the kitchen, on the nice new kitchen top. Okay, because you won't get, you won't be very popular. The protractor then needs to stick on top of there. Look, now you are going to have to sacrifice a protractor to do this. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back here. I, I don't think these protractors are particularly expensive. I think get them in supermarkets. Okay, let's put that on there. Let's make sure there's a bit of glue by the string. I don't, I'm not putting glue by the numbers because I want to be able to see the numbers. And I'm going to stick that down there like that. Okay, and I'm going to just make sure, I'm going to press from behind, thumb and forefinger. Make sure that it's all perfectly lined up. Okay, so I've got 180 degrees at this end. 0 degrees, and I, and I can see it's lined up with the surface of the wood. Okay, that's going to have to dry. Um, okay, when it's when it is dry, I'm taking a bit of a risk. You could, on the card, just emphasise if you've got a decent black pen. Let's do every 10 degrees. Okay, to make the measuring a bit easier. OK, 
okay, to make the measuring a bit easier. So that is how you make a sextant. Very easy, okay. Anybody can do that. Um, that's it. Okay, thank you for watching. Please have a go.